How would you encourage other people to join the garden club? Um, I would say, if we don't do it, when will you do it? Because like we've got we we've got like deforestation like happening on where we're cutting down trees and we're just sitting there we're planting them. And like if we have like an extra pair of hands, like maybe ten or a couple, I don't know, it would help quite a lot. The vision for the garden project is space to grow. That works on a number of levels. It's a space for young people to grow fruit and vegetables. It's a space for them to grow as individuals, to learn new skills and to try new things. And it's an outdoor space where they can be reflective and take a quiet moment too. When COVID began, and restrictions came into place. It was really sad that we weren't able to do as much in the garden as we would have liked. A whole spring and a whole summer went past where we weren't able to nurture and grow in that space. Coming back to school and coming out of the pandemic, the garden plays a really key role in helping us to build back greener, build back better. The garden acts as a therapeutic space where students can be outside. They can safely connect with their friends and their peers, and they can learn a new hobby and a new skill. For me, it's been great to see young people back outside, planting, watering, growing, spending time by the wildlife pond, noticing the bugs and the insects and the bees again. All those things that were some positives of the lockdown, the ability to slow down, to notice nature and to reconnect with the outdoors, are some of the things that the garden project can help remind us of as we begin to get back to school as normal. What has been so lovely to see is students coming out into the garden, whether it's for the garden club at lunchtime or after school, or as part of our outdoor learning experiences. Those moments of awe and wonder when they found a worm or spotted a bee or a butterfly, or when they're picking peas or strawberries that they've grown themselves. It's those little moments that make the garden space and the garden project really meaningful and really special. The garden is a good place to relax and enjoy peaceful and quiet. No. What kind of things do you do when you're in the garden? Sort out the polytunnel and help with the weeding. What I love most about coming into the garden is that we get to work in the polytunnel and all the people that help out with the garden. I think what I've learned most about being in the garden is how to help out the plants and how much everyone cares about the garden. What I've learned about the garden is it's a fascinating and interesting place with lots of different creatures and animals and plants. When I'm here, it makes me feel happy and excited because I'm with everyone who loves the garden and we get to help outside. My favourite memory of being here is planting my squashes a, um, a few months ago because I've 
I've learnt how to weed and how to just look after everything really. I, what I like most about coming to the garden is being with my friends and seeing how nature works and I've enjoyed really watching it grow. It just makes me feel really safe and happy and it's just lovely to be with my friends. The labyrinth is a really key part of the garden. It's tucked away on the corner of the site and it's a singular path that goes in a pattern to the centre and then back out again. And young people and students have used that for reflection, contemplation, meditation. Some just enjoy walking to the centre, pausing and walking back out again. That's a really great example of how an outdoor space can really have a positive impact on our mental health and well-being. Katie, what do you love most about being in the garden? Uh, what I like most is when um, I come in and I see everyone working, like taking out the weeds or putting the tarmac on, which we've done. Or like when I go into the polytunnel and like Ben and Katie's working in there. What's your biggest achievement in the garden? Uh, my biggest achievement is um, naming Isaac Newton. Who is Isaac Newton? The newt in the pond. It's the best name in the world, created by me. You're sincere. How do you feel when you're out here? I feel like um, I'm having fun and enjoying myself. Like, and I know I'm just growing a new world. One of the other jobs that I do, except from doing the polytunnel, is litter picking. So Brady, we're quite a long way away from a tap. How on earth do we get water into this garden? Um, we collect rainwater from the roofs. We have our shed here, which collects rainwater, and then we have the bike shed here, which also collects rainwater into these four drums that we have here. There's one just here as well, hiding behind the shed. They all collect water. These two here are fed by the by the um, uh, bike shed, and this these two here are fed by our garden shed, which we keep our tools in. It's really important here to have so much water because we have lots of plants in our garden. So we need to make sure that we have enough water for them all in the summertime when it's hot and not raining. What made me come to a gardening club was um, the fact that Brody introduced me to it and I don't really have enough time to go to my own allotment. So I do it at school instead. And what kind of things do you do when you're here? Um, well, today I uh, dug up potatoes and carrots. I teach students to know when to dig things up and make sure that they pull them up in the right way and don't chop them in half or anything and don't destroy plants that are supposed to be there and what's not supposed to be there. Um, the garden makes me feel calm and it makes me feel happy because I can have like time with my friends, doing things I like to do. The Garden Project has been a great way to further connect the school with the community as well. And so far, when we've been able to, the garden has hosted community maintenance days. We've had volunteers from lots of local churches come and support building raised beds, clearing weeds, cutting the grass. It's been a really great space to connect people together and post COVID we're looking forward to doing that so much more. The local Rotary Clubs donated a thousand croci as part of their Purple for Polio campaign. And we're so thankful for their support and their contribution to that space. We're always looking for any donations, 
any support, any extra gardening equipment. Everything that's been donated to the garden project has been used and has really benefited the student experience out there. So we're continually looking, should anyone else be able to offer any support to this exciting project? When I look back to how that space was a few years ago, as just an area of unused grassland, I never really imagined the joy and the awe and the wonder that would be created through starting this garden project. And even just a few years on, it's so amazing to see all that's been achieved. And I can't wait to see what's gonna happen over the next few years as staff, students, and the wider community get involved in really developing this space, which is a space to grow.